Mars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a San Diego holiday and a sailboat. Which star is it? Jonathan Winters. Marsha Wallace. George Goebel. Jimmy Walker. Ed McMahon. Elkie Summers. Robert Fuller. Karen Valentine. Or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Martin. Thank you, Kenny, and good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Square. Hello, stars. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. <laughs> we have a young lady vacationing from New York, secretary, mother. This is Betty Svoboda. Good evening. Svoboda. And you're not related to Ron Svoboda. You're no, the no, I'm not. And you're hoping everybody uh, at home is watching the Hollywood Squares. Oh, I sure do. <laughs> so do we, because we like our ratings high in the New York area. They okay. certainly are. You don't have to worry about that. Well, thank that. you very much. And if you'd like to go to the prom, you got a date. Okay, good luck this evening. <laughs> have you. fun, all right? Thank you. Our Mr. X is a merchandise control manager, married father of two, Phil Lupton. Hiya, Phil. Good Welcome good. to our show. Nice to thank see you. Thank you. We'll play the first round of the Hollywood Squares in the Secret Square game after a commercial word. We'll be back. The players is to get three stars in a row, either across them or down or diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if the stars give you a correct answer, make you one up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition to the first three games, we go for that Secret Square. Kenny? And circle stars this Secret Square. Enjoy a California-style vacation surrounded by European luxury at the Little America Westgate Hotel in San Diego, featuring beautifully decorated guest rooms, superb cuisine, and tickets to two San Diego attractions, all furnished by the Little America. America Westgate Hotel, and you'll enjoy Mouton Cadet with dinner. The splendid French wines from Baron de Rothschild's legendary cellars, furnished by Mouton Cadet, valued at $750. And take along a five-piece set of luggage from the famous Spiegel catalog, more than 500 pages, new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items, providing value selection economy, furnished by Spiegel, and get there in an air-conditioned car, furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car, for fine transportation at competitive rates, available at airports and other locations nationwide. Budget Rent-A-Car. Also, Goranimals, long-wearing inexpensive kids clothes from toddlers to teens just match their animal tags and get perfectly coordinated tops and bottoms and snarks wildflower sailboat carries four adults comfortably and can be used as an outboard motor runabout the wildflower is practically maintenance free and easily transportable furnished by snark products incorporated happy sailing peter uh, and that was not a recording <laughs> let's go to the whole audience to see the squares and the stars are brief for the show to help them with the bluffs betty you won the toss backstage good luck dear pick a star thank you ed mcmahon oh big head oh nice you and 99 other people are driving down the street. According to statistics, within five, how many of you are drunk? Is that counting myself? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me and 99 are drunk, actually drunk? A hundred people are driving down the street. According to statistics, within five, how many are intoxicated? I would say 20. 20. I agree. No. Only two, Ted. <laughs> oh, uh, no, we can accept zero to seven. Uh, and X goes up there for Phil. Break they certainly friend. weren't at my party. No. Jonathan Winters. All right, Jonathan. Uh, okay, you're Elwood P. Suckins, and, uh, and if you walk up to an enclosure on a farm as Elwood, you got a lot of turkeys inside this enclosure, okay? Now, you tap on the side, Elwood, with your hand. Okay, what will most of the turkeys do? Well, it's all according to what time of year it is. What do you mean? Well, listen, I'm the guy that's tapping these turkeys. The uh, uh, thing is, if it's cold, uh, chances are they're dead. Uh, no, uh, give me that question. You walk up to an enclosure, enclosure on a farm, Close with lots farm. of turkeys inside right. the enclosure. Now, you tap on the side with your hand. What will most of the turkeys do? Well, I would imagine if they've got anything going for them at all, they'll go gobble, 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 gobble. They'll gobble, 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 gobble. I'll agree. No, they'll come outside. You see, that? not too bright. They, they want to see what's going on. Turn about fair play with a circle. Betty, a break for well, you. George Goble, George please. George Goble. George, true or false, President Ford used to work as a male model. I knew he looked familiar. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know he was a waiter when he was going through school, but I don't think he's the model type. He's, no, right? no way. I agree. Oh, absolutely. He was quite famous. Yes, in fact, uh, Betty uh, was very active in those days for a photographer, and many of his pictures appeared in many publications. Sure. Well, we have an X there. Okay, Phil, another break for you. Jimmy Walker. Not the secret square, but for uh, $250, according to the Los Angeles Herald Examiner. Yes. What is the basic spring 
Uh, this is uh, according to the fashion editor, of course. I'm listening. What is the basic spring color? The basic spring color? Uh-huh. I would have to go along with Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> he said white. <laughs> I disagree. Uh, the basic spring color is Caucasian, white. Yes, okay, <laughs> put a circle there. Interesting game. Ready for the start. Paul Lindsay. All right, Paul, on television, on television, what does the bionic woman do for a living? Uh, she keeps Lee Majors from getting rusty. <laughs> <laughs> the bionic woman, she has a profession. What is that? Uh, um... I think she's a doctor. A doctor. I disagree. No, she's a teacher, Paul. Yeah, put a circle there. All right. Karen Valentine. Karen, true or false, the new three and a half million dollar Alice Johnson, Alice Johnson High School in Texas, is named after a cleaning lady at another school nearby. Well, when you say Alice Johnson, that's the character I played on Room 222. Mm hmm there's a new three and a half million dollar uh, high school in Texas named Alice Johnson, named after a cleaning lady at another school nearby. Is that true or false? Probably so. She said that's probably true. I agree. True. That is true. Isn't that nice? Yes. <laughs> you got the edge. All right. Get there, Betty. I'll have Robert Fuller, please. All right. Uh, Robert, who was president of the United States when World War I ended? Oh, I remember it well. Woodrow Wilson. <laughs> I agree. Right. Okay, Alfie now. Summer. Alfie Summer, that's the secret square. Here we go, Phil. If you are correct, you have the X. It's correct, incidentally. Circle will get the square, and I believe uh, $250. Elke, this is for over $2,000. Only one newspaper editor went on to become president of the United States. Newspaper editor. Was that former newspaper editor? Warren Harding, Harry Truman, or Woodrow Wilson? Truman, I would say. I disagree. Oh, he was a haberdasher, actually. Uh, Warren Harding, congratulations. All right. Yeah. You want Marsha Wallace? Well, first, let me go fill what he's won here. Okay, yes, Betty? Yeah, he won that San Diego vacation, which is a Lovely. gorgeous country. It's a wonderful vacation. Uh, you've got the wines. Uh, as, as Kitty said, Bouton Cadet. I thought it was Mouton Cadet, but you can't go by me. <laughs> the luggage, the car rental, and the sailboat, over $2,500. And uh, we'll go to Marsha and her question after we have a, a commercial. Of okay, course. Betty? We'll be Thank right you. back. Thank you. Worth to you, $250. Marsha? Peter. Billy Graham. See? Re recently referred to something as man's most desperate problem, man's most desperate problem. What was Reverend Billy Graham talking about? Well, trying to dance as good as Reverend Ike. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation. Salvation. I agree. No. No. Sin. Oh, sin. Yeah. The old sin and salvation. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, X gets the square and $250. Phil Lipton. Congratulations. Here we go for Secret Square number two, Danny. And X are at this second Secret Square for John Hancock's Fiesta, genuine California redwood, designed with beauty, built for durability. This weather resistant collection brings elegance and comfort to indoor and outdoor living. Fiesta furnished by John Hancock Furniture Plus. Eskimo Pie, dairy fresh vanilla ice cream, a special chocolate flavored coating. Eskimo Pie, refreshing and delicious anytime for a no plus treat. And year round cooking on a charm glow gas grill. Real barbecue flavor, instant flame that eats no starter fluid and leaves no ashes. The patio wagon plus all the necessary accessories for comfortable outdoor barbecuing, furnished by Charm Glow Products. Also, Martin Senor paints over 2,000 chairs and exterior of colors to choose from. Mark and Zine are colors to express your lifestyle and enjoy the wedge. It's Zena's most powerful modular stereo with precision built in components and rich natural allegro sound. At Zena, the quality goes in before the name goes on. And it's the $1,200 Swinger 300 Kimball organ. Just push buttons for chords, rhythm, and background. Then with only two fingers, you can play your favorite song, the Swinger 300, furnished by Kimball. That's, it. That's enough. Yeah, let's go to the home audience to see this player. Bill, good luck, my friend. Jonathan Winters. Jonathan. Maud. Maud. According to experts, Will you make the least noise when eating if your dentures are made of... Uh, let me try that again, Maude. According yes, to experts, you will. Time. You will make the least noise when eating if your dentures are made of... Made of. What? You know, I had a set that the third mister made me that was out of steel. <laughs> steel? Oh, yeah. 
go through anything. <laughs> <laughs> Went through him. <laughs> Uh, the least noise, dentures. Least noise when eating if your dentures are made of? I... I <laughs> I'll give you a I, multiple choice, Maud. Oh, goody. We have porcelain, yes. glass, and plastic. I'd have to go with porcelain. Porcelain. I'll agree. Plastic. <laughs> yes. Put a circle there. Betty, a break for you. Cheapo. <laughs> go ahead, dear. Ed McMahon. All right. Ed, true or false? <laughs> the great song. There's no business like show business it was written by a janitor at MGM while he was cleaning one of the studio's men's rooms. That is false. He said that is false. I That's agree. F that is false. Good for you, Ed. <laughs> All right. We'll start for the box. Paul, what very, very popular song was originally titled The Bombardment of Fort McHenry? Oh, little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> What? what is the a very famous song? It was originally titled The Bombardment of Fort McHenry. Yeah. <laughs> Fort McHenry. Uh, the Yanks are coming. The Yanks are coming. <laughs> no, Francis Scott Key, remember they bombed, and he wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, well, the next. Okay, Betty, you're George turn. Goble, please. All right, George. The Indiana State Board of Health doesn't allow people of that state to use something when making wine that Italians are known to use quite often when making wine. <laughs> What can Indianans use? Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't, they can't do the traditional thing, make it with their feet. Feet. I agree. To stamp the grapes. Very good, with a circle. Well, you have to okay, Jimmy Walker. And that's the secret square. Here we go. I'll believe you this time. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, this is worth over $3,000. It, it's a beauty, okay? Hang on. Good luck. Oh, my God. Jimmy, listen carefully. Who wrote the famous book, The Man Who Would Be King? The Man Who Would Be King? O. Henry, Rudyard Kipling, or Robert Louis Stevenson? Who was the second guy? Uh, the second guy was a guy by the name of Rudyard Kipling. Uh, Roger Kipling. Uh, Rudyard Kipling. I disagree with you last time. This time I'll agree. You'll agree this time? There's a great motion picture out with Michael Caine and Sean Connery, The Man Who Would Be King, Rudyard Kipling. Very good for you. That's Thank just the you. square. <laughs> You have won yourself Redwood Furniture, Barbecue, Stereo, and the Organ. $3,100. And Betty, it's your turn. Marsha Wallace, please. All right. Marsha, this is for $250 in the tie game. On what popular television drama will you find Dave and Ken fighting crime? Dave and Ken fighting crime. Dave and Ken? Fighting crime. Very popular TV show. Two favorites of mine. Uh, I think that would be Stursky and or Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. I agree. Dave Starsky and Ken Hutchison. Yes. Okay, we have a tie game. Terrific. <laughs> we have a commercial word. We'll be back. We'll play another secret word game. Square game number three. And this time, Circle starts a secret square for a Mexican holiday. We'll jet you from Los Angeles for a week for two at Posada Vallarta in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Air-conditioned rooms with exclusive beaches, private villas with swimming pools, and continental dining with entertainment. Add to the fine service furnished by Posada Vallarta. Take along Montreal, the cologne that mixes with a man's body chemistry to give every man who wears it his own individual scent. Montreal plus Edouard's diamond and ruby encrusted 18-carat gold frog pin furnished by Jewels by Edouard of Beverly Hills. And... A $500 assortment of Ditto's jeans and tops that hug the curves. Tie tops, tank tops, drawstrings, halter and t-shirts, hand-painted discs, each one a work of art furnished by Ditto's. And GAF's LES electronic 35mm single-lens reflex camera, fully automatic, hushomatic slide projector with autofocus and remote control, and 20 rolls of 64-color slide film. The exciting 35mm system furnished by GAF. And for your travel needs, 1 million SNH green stamps. Select your prize for more than 1,500 brand names. Yes, furnished by SNH green stamps. That little extra that adds up to a lot worth 20 500 dollars That's it, Peter. You're terrific, Kenny. Let's show the whole audience the secret square. Betty, the secret square up there. Where is it? Pick a star. Ed McMahon. It could be Ed McMahon, no. Ed, if you were lying prone, prone on the ground, about how far could you see straight up in the air? Let's see. Airplanes are up there around five or six miles. Let's see. I would say close to 10 miles. 10 miles. I agree. Uh, you could see only the ground. You see, prone means face down. Uh, 
supine means prone, like looking face straight up. up. That's what you call a oh. gotcha. Uh, put an X there, Phil. You'll pay okay, for Jonathan this beer. Winters. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> and your lovely Victoria's out there yes, this evening, yes. too, Ed. He's really a dummy, Vicky. I told you that. <laughs> Jonathan, heavyweight champion uh, Muhammad Ali recently stated, it's no fun anymore. It's not fun at all. What was he talking about, Muhammad Ali? Hmm. Oh, it could be any number of things. Finger painting. <laughs> Making, uh, working in the kiln. <laughs> Reselling shoes. No, let's see. What uh, what is not, not fun, fun anymore? I would say uh, he's referring to his living uh, boxing. I'll agree. It's it's just a business. He said it's not fun anymore. Or with an X. Call in, please. Hercules. Hercules is famous for his twelve labors. Franklin Roosevelt is famous for his four freedoms. And Richard Nixon is famous for his six what? Names for Judge Sirica. <laughs> Nixon's six. <laughs> six, oh, no, trials, I think it was called. Six trials. I agree. No, that's okay. the idea, but we needed crises. Oh, yeah, Christ. his famous book, Six Crises. Can't put an X in. Now, Phil, let me just say this. You uh, got two X's up there. You're in a pretty good position to gamble, if you'd like. It's worth $5,000. How are you going to play it? I'll play Robert Fuller. All right. He's a gambling man. Who composed the symphony popularly known as <laughs> Beethoven's Tent? Beethoven. I'll agree. So called uh, because of similarity of style, Brahms. Uh, put a circle there. All right, Betty. Now, let me say to you, Paul is not the secret square. That would be for the block, but there's $5,000 up there. It's either Karen, Elke, Jimmy, Marsha, or George. Paul Lind. All right, for a block. At a horse race, can you tell one jockey from another just by looking at his pants? <laughs> 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 Only if he's carrying extra weight. <laughs> <laughs> Can you differentiate jockeys by the, by the pants? By the colors, yes. I disagree. Good. They all wear white pants. Their shirts and hats are colored to tell them apart. So that's a good disagree. Put a circle there. George Goble. All right. For the block. Are there any vitamins in sugar? Uh, oh, yes, there must be because it gives you quick energy, and I think... Yeah, there are vitamins. I'll agree. No vitamins, no minerals. Can't put a circle there. <laughs> Betty, now, George is not the secret square. It's worth $5,000. Jimmy, Marsha, or Elke, how are you going to play it? George Goebel. For $500. George, on October the 11th, 1910, Theodore Roosevelt became the first president to do something in an airplane. What did he do? Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. In 1910, became the first president to do something in an airplane. What? Uh, first president to do something in an airplane. In 1910. Well, he was the first one to fly in an airplane. To fly in an airplane. I agree. That's right. Very good. You've got a circle. $500. Who is the secret squad, Jake? Karen Valentine was the secret square. Nobody chose Karen. Now it's the race for the car. Phil, pick a star. Ed McMahon. Uh, is it Phil that picks the star? I believe it is. Yes. Oh, I'll tell you what that means. Was well, something I said? No. Yes. <laughs> Not really, Ed. I tell you, that, uh, that is our uh, tacky buzzer, which uh, tells us that time is up for this evening, friends, until tomorrow night the at the same the time. Yeah, the old clock. That means that this question is worth either an extra $50 for Phil or Betty. I will read the question. Ed, listen carefully. According to the Pittsburgh Press... In 1920, a man named Enrico Rastelli, Enrico Rastelli did something with 10 balls that no man has ever been able to do since. What did he do? He uh, juggled them and kept juggled them in the them. air. I'll agree. That's what he did. Good for you, Ed McMahon. You got an X. I was hoping that's what he did. <laughs> all righty. Now we're going to add up the scores. First of all, that X gives you an extra $50, a total of $300 in cash bill, and you won yourself... $5,600 in Secret Squares alone. Congratulations. Stay right there. We also have some lovely party gifts, naturally. Betty, who is visiting us from uh, New York City. Guess what? You're the big winner, really, with $500. You get to drive back if you'd like to or just pick up your car in New York. Congratulations.
It's Pontiac Spark who's up top back at the distinctive styling with responsive four cylinder engine and electronic ignition, overhead cam, three speed floor shift, Astra furnished by Pontiac. Your son's in the audience this evening, too, isn't he? From Alfred Cotton. What is his name? Stephen. Stephen, congratulations to you, and I thank the stars. Have a good evening. See you here next time on the Hollywood Squares. A Jackson Pollock painting once sold for $10.5 million. A Picasso self-portrait was bought for over $43 million. A Japanese businessman paid $82.5 million for a Van Gogh. Tim drew this and won five grand. It pays to be an artist. Win, lose, or draw weekdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern only on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater Bob Quigley production.